All right, well, I missed the recording of the first part here, but that's okay. We'll, we'll continue on with B. So we figured out A. Now we got to figure out B. Um, in order to figure out B again, sim same process that we did with A, we're going to find two reactions where A doesn't change, but B changes. So we're going to use... We're going to use experiments one and two because you see that A doesn't change. So we, that will be eliminated, but B changes. Okay. So experiment one, we have the rate is two. Okay. And that's equal to K times uh, 0 0.1 X. And then uh, B is 0 0.1. So Y uh, experiment two. The rate is four, and now we have um, zero point one to the x, and then zero point two to the y. Then we divide these two by each other. You'll, K's will cancel out. The point one to the x will cancel out. So we have two over four equals zero point one to the y over zero point two. To the y okay two over four is one half one over two is one half so one half to the y equals one half so our y therefore is one so the order of the react uh, order of the reaction with respect to b is one Okay, so the overall, so the rate equation, so the rate equation here would be that the rate equals K times the concentration of A to the third times the concentration of B to the first. Everyone good so far? Yeah. Okay, now um, we want to calculate the value of the of k. Now, in the in the, the second worksheet that I give you, uh, it asks you to calculate the rate of k for each experiment, and then take the average. So that's typically what you do is you calculate the rate, uh, the rate constant. Sorry, the rate constant for each experiment, and then take the the average of it because the numbers are not for the rate are not perfect. Um, but for this one, uh, I'm just going to do one, one experiment. I think they actually all come out to the same exact thing because it's real. It, these numbers are just really, really easy and simple. It's not actual rate data. It's just like really simple data. So if we want to calculate the value for of K. We just can plug in all the values into any one of these experiments. It doesn't matter which one. So we can pick experiment number one. Let's just do that. So the rate equals two. I'll pick a different color here. So the rate is two. So two equals K times the concentration of A, which is 0.1. And that's the third power times the concentration of B, which is 0.1 to the first. Okay, and then this divide both sides by 0.1 to the fourth, because that's essentially what this is, right? So the third to the first is the fourth, right? That cancels this. And then divide this 0.1 to the fourth. Okay, and you'll get K, the numerical value of K. So the numerical value of K, K equals 20,000. Okay, or... 2 times 10 to the 4th, okay? That's the numerical value. Uh, one of the very, very common questions is, and, and they always expect when you give K, you should give the units for K, okay? K, 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 K. All right, uh, so in order to find the units for K, uh, I just look at, okay, well, what did we do here? We did the, the, the rate. The rate was in moles over liters per second, right? And we divided that. We divided that by uh, molarity to the fourth. So that's moles per liter. So 
divided by moles to the fourth and liters to the fourth. Okay? So again, it was this divided by this point 0.1, and this was in molarity, and molarity is moles per liter. Okay? So it's moles per liter per second, which was the rate, divided by moles to the fourth liters to the fourth. All right, and when you divide a fraction by a fraction, you multiply it, right? You, you multiply by the reciprocal. So you have moles over liters per second, or liters times seconds, times liters to the fourth over moles to the fourth. Okay, so you just flipped it and made it the reciprocal. Okay, now when we do this, this is going to cancel one of these, and you get to the third. And then this is going to cancel with this, and you get to the third. Okay, so the units now are liters to the third over moles to the third and se times seconds. Okay, and typically we write this, when we write it for K, it's going to be like this, liters to the third, moles to the negative third, and seconds to the negative one. They like, I always see it written like with the negatives. But either one of these is acceptable. This is fine for the units or this is fine. But again, units are important in, uh, with the rate law. Um, they often ask a, a, that kind of question, like if the overall order of the reaction is four, what are the units for K? Well, you just do it this way, what I just showed you here. Okay. Um, if the overall reaction rate was, or if the overall order of the reaction was three, what is the what are the what are the units for K? So you just use this to figure it out. Okay. All right, and it's always just the rate divided by the uh, molarity to whatever order the overall reaction is and that will give you the units for K okay uh, let's do you want to do a more another one here let me see here let's look at number five Because this one we're going to solve mathematically. Okay. So here. Ah, this one's easy too. I wonder if there's any ones that are... Let's try this one. Let's try number six. <clears throat> this one, this one, it looks like a little bit. Eh, it'll probably be just as easy. Whatever. Let's do numbers. Let's do this one anyway. Okay, so let's determine the overall order of this reaction, or the order of reaction for each reactant. Okay. So, uh, let's see here. Um, let's figure it out for NO first. So, you'll see that H2 stays the same between these two. Right? So, we can use experiment 1 and 2 to find out what the rate is, what the overall order for NO is. So, uh, the rate 0 0.136 equals K times the concentration of NO, which is 0 0.42. So the X times 0.122 to the Y, 
and that will divide that by experiment two. So their initial rate was 0 0.0339. And we get K, and then it's 0 0.21 to the X, and 0 0.122 to the Y. So you'll see these two cancel out, cancels, cancels. Okay, so you get 0 0.136 over 0 0.0339 equals 0 0.42 to the x over 0 0.21 to the x. Okay. Um, so 0.136 divided by 0 0.0339, you get 4. So 4 equals, oh, this one's easy. And then 0 0.42 divided by 0 0.21 is 2. So 2 to the x. So therefore, x equals 2. Okay. So we were able to get that one. Uh, the other one's not going to be as easy because... Uh, we don't have any experiments where the NO is going to get canceled out. So we're going to have to do a little bit more math. But it, it's really not that bad. Okay. <coughs> um, yeah. So let's see. So let's pick uh, two different experiments. Let's go with. And it really doesn't matter which ones we pick, does it? Now let's try two and three. We'll see where we go, where we get from here. Okay. Uh, you'll see that the initial rate's going to cancel out, so that's fine. Okay, so two is 0 0.0339 uh, equals K times 0 0.210. And we know this one already. It's, it's um, the rate with respect to NO is 2. So to the second. Okay, that's going to help us because we wouldn't be able to solve this problem if, if, if we didn't have that. Okay. And then uh, 0 0.122 to the Y. And that's all over 0 0.0339. <clears throat> and uh, K and 0 0.105 to the second. And 0 0.488 to the Y. Ugh, missed the parentheses there. Okay, so the K's cancel, and this is 1. Uh, so 1 equals 0 0.210 to the second over 0 0.105 to the second. Um, times 0 0.122, I'm just going to put this whole thing, 0 0.488 to the Y. See everyone with me so far? Okay. Not too, too tricky here. Okay. Um. So I'm just going to simplify this number right here. I'm going to solve for this, see what that number is. So 0 0.210 divided by 0 0.105, that should be 2. And then square it to the second, and we get 4. So this is 4, and this is 1. And then 0 0.122 over 0 0.488 should be 1 fourth, I believe, right? Yep, one fourth. Oops. Okay, and then uh, I mean, this is I think you're seeing what's going on here. So you divide both sides by four. Divide by four. You see one fourth to the y equals one fourth. So y therefore has to be one. Y equals one. 
So the order of the reaction with respect to NO is 2. So the overall reaction rate equation would be rate equals K times the concentration of NO to the second times the concentration of N2 to the first. Okay, so that is table logic. Pretty, pretty easy, right? Not too bad. Compare two reactions. Work it through. If you're not so good at math, this that's where people struggle on the math part of this, right? Okay, if we want to find the rate constant for this, we just use this and plug in to one of these. So the initial rate... The initial rate is zero. Let's use the first experiment, 0.136 equals K. Concentration is 0 0.420 to the second. And then N2 is 0.122 to the first. <clears throat> and then you're just going to divide by 0 0.420 to the second and 0 0.122 to the first. Do that to both sides. And 0 0.122. So K equals. So 0.136 divided by 0 0.420 to the second. Times 0.122. And I get K to be equal to 6.32. Okay. And then our units. Again, units are very important for K. You should always include units. Uh, the initial rate was in uh, moles per liter seconds. <laughs> and then um, you had three to the power of three, right? So it's moles per liter, but it's switched. It's liters to the third, moles to the third. It's always going to be the same thing. It's whatever your overall rate, just liters over moles, overall rate, overall rate. Okay. You get liters to the second, moles to the second. All right. So it's then liters squared times moles to the negative two, seconds to the negative two. Not seconds to negative two. I don't know why I wrote negative two. Liters to the second times moles to negative two sec over seconds. Negative one. Negative one. Duh. Sorry. You're always going to have this seconds to negative. Well, actually, not always. I lied. Not always. Or are you? Let me think. Yeah, you're always gonna have, you're always gonna have this. It's always gonna be second thing. Okay, so that's K. And then um, here it says find the rate of appearance of N two at the instant when N O equals 0.35 and H two equals 0.205. So that you're just plugging in rate equals and then your k is 6.32 uh, your concentration of no is 0 0.35 and that's to the second and then your concentration of h2 is 0 0.205 and that's to the first do all that work right there so 6.32 times 0.35 squared times 0.205 And you get 0 0.16, sure, I just rounded it, um, uh, moles 
meters negative one, seconds negative one. Pretty easy. Let me see. Now, I don't think I, I don't think anyone on here is one that doesn't come out to an even exponent. Um, you may get some that come out to decimal exponents, but I, let's not worry about them right now. Let's just do it this way for now. And then uh, if there is one that comes up, I'll show you how to do it. Okay. Just gonna stop recording.